Now let's turn our attention to a brown stock. Brown stock follows the same procedure as making white stock, but the bones are roasted and vegetables are browned to give the finished stock a brown color and richer flavor. Brown stocks are made from any bones except fish bones. We'll demonstrate this technique following the recipe for brown stock found in the Culinary Professional and its companion materials. The recipe calls for 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms veal or beef bones cut into two to three inch pieces, enough cold water to cover the bones, about five quarts or 4.75 liters, one pound or 450 grams mirepoix, consisting of onions, carrots, and celery cut into one inch pieces, three tablespoons or 45 milliliters vegetable oil, three tablespoons or 45 milliliters tomato paste, and a sachet of 20 black peppercorns, two teaspoons or 10 milliliters dried thyme leaf, one bay leaf, and six parsley stems. To prepare the brown stock, we'll start by spreading our bones in a single layer across the bottom of a lightly oiled roasting pan. Unlike white stocks, blanching is not necessary since the proteins that could cloud a white stock are coagulated during the roasting process. Roast the bones uncovered in a 350 to 400 degree Fahrenheit oven until they have turned a rich brown color. Stir the bones every 20 to 30 minutes to ensure even browning. Remove the pan from the oven and use tongs to remove the bones from the pan and place them in a stock pot. Carefully pour the hot grease left in the roasting pan into a separate container to be discarded once it has cooled. Place the empty roasting pan on a medium-high burner on the stove and add enough water to just cover the bottom of the pan. When the water comes to a boil, scrape the bottom of the roasting pan with a wooden spoon or heat-resistant silicon spatula. This will dissolve the brown bits off the bottom of the pan and is called deglazing. Deglazing greatly improves the flavor and color of a stock, as these brown bits are very flavorful. If the bottom of the roasting pan burns or turns black during roasting, then do not deglaze. This will cause the stock to be bitter and deepen the color. After you have deglazed the pan, pour the liquid into the stock pot with the bones. Add enough cold water to the bones to cover. Heat over medium flame to bring to a boil. In a separate pan, saute mirepoix in the remaining vegetable oil until golden brown. Add the tomato paste and reduce the heat, continuing to cook until the tomato paste turns a dark red color. Stir the mixture often as the tomato paste burns easily. Cooking the tomato paste also removes some of the acidity from the tomatoes and helps deepen the color of the finished stock. This mixture will be added after the stock comes to a simmer and is skimmed to remove the scum. Some chefs prefer to roast the mirepoix and tomato product with the bones. From this point, follow the same steps you used in simmering, skimming, and adding water to the white stock. The brown stock will simmer for nine to 12 hours. Strain and cool the brown stock in the same way demonstrated with the white stock. All well-made stocks share four attributes. They are color, clarity, flavor, and body. Our finished white stock has a light pale color, while the brown stock has a nice brown color from the roasted bones, mirepoix, and tomato paste.